back to the weekend vlog. It is Saturday around noon, I think, right now. Um, we were just about to go out and run some errands, so I figured I'd start the vlog and take you guys along with us. I think we're going to hit up TJ Maxx and Target. We have some Christmas presents to look for, although I am mostly done with Christmas uh, shopping. I did a lot of it on Amazon this year, which is super helpful being a new mom. Um, and so we just have like maybe four gifts left to get um and then we're set there i think we're going to do a couple of cute christmasy activities this weekend so that's gonna be super fun stay tuned for that and welcome back to the vlog got my fuzzy socks on as well as my favorite caffeine queen sweater with my monogram in the middle and just some blue jeans. And Nate's outfit of the day are these super cute fuzzy pajamas. And yes, we're taking him out in super cute fuzzy pajamas because he's so comfy and warm. They're like um, like a thicker like blankety material, I guess. And we got them from Carter's and there's my hair in the video. Yes. And Alex's outfit of the day is, let's see what you're wearing. You're wearing a Super Mario shirt with a hoodie, some jeans, and black socks. Rocking it. Super comfortable. Super comfy. We're going for the comfy vibes today, guys, because it's cold. Donuts and rosé candle at Target. It smells super good and it's really cute. Little Nate here is refusing to take a nap. And we've also found nothing so far that we actually needed. So now I'm just looking at all the cool stocking stuffer things. Ooh. I have these bath bombs and they're amazing. Rose sparkling juice. Welch's Sparkling Rosé, non-alcoholic, and it's pasteurized, so it's like perfect for pregnant women. And they have also this white one, Rosé, and I think they also have a red one, but I don't see it here. Christmas shopping all the weekend. So, we got a couple things from Target for our stockings, so it's not even going to be a surprise, but we got like, okay, this is not, this is impossible, okay, there we go, we got loofahs, some hair ties, like tissues, lip balm, toothbrushes, toothbrush holders because we only have one. Um, I got a face mask. Alex got some stuff for his car, first aid kit. So that's all we found at Target. We didn't find anything we actually wanted to get, but at least we have stockings pretty much taken care of now. Alex is looking uh, like Eminem today. That's what he's going for here. Yeah. Great. Right. Do it. Oh my god, how can you see? Stop! You're driving! What the heck? <laughs> Nate's in the back doing something. I don't know what. Maybe sleeping. Hopefully sleeping. And now we're going to... Where are we going? Sir La Table. Sir La Table to maybe get something for his brother, which I can't say. I don't think he watches these, but I probably shouldn't say online what we're getting. So, yeah, we're going to go to Sir La Table and get maybe something, hopefully. And if not, I think Bed Bath & Beyond is right there also. So if neither of those stores have it, we're just going to have to order it online. While we were out, I picked up a couple random things that I found, which is this um, spoon rest. And I actually have this spoon rest right now, which is dirty, sorry. Um, that says fa la la. 
and this one is stir so whenever Christmas is over I'm going to put this one away with our Christmas decorations and have this one out stir and then I finally found this mine and yours mug set and I'm so happy about this I've been looking for a mug, another mug set um, for a long time now and I think that's so cute and right now we have the mom and dad mug set and mine and yours is also really cute and I would also like to find a hubby because I have wifey um yeah I really love the mug sets I just think that's adorable and we're home now and I'm going to make some dinner first I'm probably gonna have to feed Nate and then make some dinner and tonight I'm making this gnocchi I think is how you pronounce it potato gnocchi and they're they're like potato dumplings basically um, and I'm gonna make that with this cashew garlic sauce and kale and I also picked up my favorite ready-to-bake bread from Kroger it's this bakery fresh goodness I guess ready-to-bake at home bread and I make garlic bread out of that which I have a recipe for and I will link right now go check that out if you want to and yeah so that's what we got going on right now um i think we're did you want to do the gingerbread house tonight i'm going to do a gingerbread house tonight too i found one that's all vegan and i was shocked because even the gum drops in it like the little gum like gummies i guess um, even those are vegan, they don't even have gelatin. I was really shocked. I like reread the ingredients like five times because I was sure I had to have been missing something. There's no dairy, no egg, like it's completely vegan, even the icing. So that's pretty awesome. And it's also Super Mario. So that's a big hit in this household. Yeah, so this is the gingerbread castle that we got. Super Mario themed, super cool themed, and it comes with all these cute little things, two mushrooms, a Mario, and some candies, the icing, a toad, cute, cute, cute. Getting dinner started, but I just wanted to mention real fast this um, dish towel. It's not actually Ray Dunn, but it's made to look exactly like Ray Dunn, and I love it. I think it's so cute. Um, I got it from Etsy, and I'll link it below for you guys, because it's adorable, and I highly recommend it. And it's really soft, too. Um, so, right now, this is a pot that I'm going to uh, boil the gnocchi in. Fry the kale. I just have some oil in here. Soaking the cashews right now so they get soft for the cashew sauce. And I just wanted to show you guys a couple of the Ray Dunn things I got recently. This Believe candle, and it's um, cinnamon apple, I believe. <laughs> I believe. Get it? Um, yeah, cinnamon apple. It smells really good. It smells exactly like real cinnamon apples and not like highly fragranced perfume, whatever. I got this tools canister. And... This is one of my new favorites, a ho ho ho, um, it's kind of like a little cream, uh, jar, I think you would call it, I'm not sure, but I think it's supposed to store cream in it, but I think I'm going to purpose it for, like, hot chocolate or candy canes because, oops, because I got this sign from the Target dollar spot, Christmas blend hot cocoa served here and you can hang little mugs on it and i think that that's just really adorable and i'm going to have like a i'm going to put it right here um like a little hot cocoa bar for our christmas party that we're going to be having for our christmas party that we're going to be having the day um the saturday before christmas and i also wanted to show you guys i got these cute little signs i think i showed this one before fresh pies baked daily but i also got this one cozy fires cold nights sweater weather twinkling lights hot cocoa warm wishes rosy cheeks mistletoe kisses i think those are both really cute and obviously this is seasonal decor that i'll put away probably after 
Christmas, I guess. It's technically more like a winter decor, but um, this will stay out and I'll probably find something else to put here eventually. Um, so yeah, and I have this Valhalla spoon holder. Well, right now it's resting my spatula. Okay, made the gnocchi and garlic uh, cashew sauce with kale, and we have the garlic bread in the oven about finishing up, and then I'm going to put some vegan cheese on top of it, and we're going to be good to go for dinner, and Nate is ready for dinner too. <laughs> He's hungry, so Alex over here is just keeping him occupied. Put him in the swing, and he's just watching him dance like a madman. And does that does that make you happy, Nate? Say, well, not happy, but I am entertained. <laughs> Sitting down to eat dinner now. Got our gnocchi and our cheesy garlic bread. Watching Frosty the Snowman tonight. If I could please get it to focus. Okay, nice, Alex. <laughs> as soon as I, I got it to focus, you you press play. And here's Scoot back so I can show Nate. We got Nate in his little sit me up seat so he can watch too. But he actually might just look at Alex the whole time because he loves looking at daddy. <laughs> Eat it. Eat it. What you, what you got there? You just want to look at daddy. Okay, we are starting on our gingerbread castle here. And this is all of our cookies. We didn't bake it ourselves, thank goodness icing and candies they're super super cute there's like a mario gummies little coins i don't know if that's focusing focus focus <laughs> there's like fondant um a toad are you ready oh yeah let's do this Okay, we're heading to bed now, and I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, so we're awake now. It's the morning again, and we're back to working on this gingerbread castle. Last night, we could only, like, um, ice the walls together because it needs to dry for, like, three to four hours before you can actually decorate it. So now it's nice and dry, hopefully. I would hope it's dry by now. Um, and now we're going to actually decorate it and we're drinking some peppermint mocha with whipped cream in my new Raydon mugs that I just washed out and got ready for this morning and yum. Is it yummy? It is. Does it taste better because you're drinking out of a cute Raydon mug? No. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it does. And Nate's just hanging out right here. Being a sweet little baby. Tomorrow Nate is five months old and I can't even believe it. My little baby's growing up so fast. Nate. Nate. He's like, Mom, I got my toys. I'm I'm content. Please leave me alone. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I just sat down to start editing my most recent uh, photography gig, um, which is it's like a com uh, Christmas uh, banquet. Is what I'm trying to say. It's a Christmas banquet, and so I have. 500-ish pictures to edit between the two events so I'm getting to work on that hopefully I can crank most of it out today possibly we'll see um, but I'm hoping to get it mostly wrapped up today at least 
one of them because there was two events I'm hoping to at least completely be done with one so that way I don't really have a lot to do like during the week um, this is what I've mainly been doing now like anytime I have photography things going on photo shoots gigs um, I'll try to edit almost all of it on the weekend just so that way I don't even have to like think or stress or anything about doing it during the week with Nate um, because keeping him occupied while I sit in front of a computer for like hours is really <laughs> challenging I'm sure any of you can imagine that so um, Alex is out there hanging out in the living room with Nate now and I'm hoping to get this stuff ready to go and burn it to a DVD and send it off as soon as possible and yeah I'm just looking over them and they look really good and I'm very pleased by them so um yeah Alex has prepared for us what he calls a bounty of noodles it's a pad thai and we're just sitting here watching some cutthroat kitchen and this is our gingerbread house by the way it turned out really good i'm pretty happy with it um and nate's sitting right here next to me like a big boy just propped up against the couch sitting on his own watching tv with mom and dad okay so it's like 5 30 right now i'm just about to head over to kroger because i need to pick up some groceries and maybe a pregnancy test <laughs> um i don't think that it'll be positive but i feel kind of sick like nauseous and i haven't yet had my first menstrual cycle and nate is going to be five months old tomorrow um so I'm just kind of going to do this just to make sure, make sure that, you know, I'm not overlooking anything. Um, I think that'll make me and Alex both feel better just to uh, know for a fact, because it kind of crossed our minds today. Like, hmm, I feel pretty nauseous and I don't really know why. So I'm going to keep you updated on that and heading to Kroger now and getting some groceries. Okay, it's the next morning now. I'm just about to make myself some coffee. I feel like <laughs> I vlog this a lot, making myself coffee. Um, I think I will go with my Ray Dunn wifey mug today. been getting a lot of Ray Dunn mugs. I'm not even gonna lie about it. It's a it's a real obsession that I have. Like I'm full on collecting mug now. Um, yesterday Alex was like, we don't even have room for all of these new Ray Dunn mugs you're getting. I'm like, oh, I'll get rid of the ones that aren't Ray Dunn. Oh boy. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to come on here though and say real fast um, before ending this vlog that last night obviously the pregnancy test was very negative so we're good there. Um, I think that we all know obviously had it been positive Alex and I would have eventually been, like you know accepted it but okay. Um, but that's definitely not what we want right now. Um, we want Nate to have time to be a little baby before he has to, you know, be a big brother. And, um, though we do, you know, it would be awesome to make him a sibling, I'm sure, because he uh, currently has no cousins or anything, so no other babies to play with other than, like, um, a couple of our friends have babies. That's about it. Um, so obviously we feeling pretty relieved that it was a negative test, um, but how, every time I take a pregnancy test and it's a negative, I just get like the slightest bit, 
um, like disappointed. Um, uh, I don't know why. <laughs> Even we weren't trying or anything. We don't need to try. It's literally not good for my body, but I'm crazy. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to like say all that and I also wanted to announce, if you're still watching by this point, because this has been, you know, a whole weekend vlog, maybe some people clicked away by now, but I also wanted to announce that I plan on doing a, <laughs> it's back there playing, um, that I plan on doing a uh, 12 days of Christmas kind of thing on my channel. I'm going to start filming, um, vlogs daily vlogs 12 the 12 days leading until christmas um because that's this is like the my favorite time of the year and i love watching everyone else's vlogmas um when i get time to do that i love too and for those of you who don't know vlogmas is just like daily vlogs that are um usually all throughout december up until christmas but I didn't start early enough, so I'm going to do like a 12 days of vlogmas kind of thing. Um, and also, I think that'll be fun. Editing might be a challenge with this guy back here. But hopefully, it'll all work out. It'll all work. I'll work out. It's only 12 days. One of them being Christmas and Christmas Eve. Alex and Nate and I actually celebrate Christmas Eve here as our Christmas like that's our Christmas day um and Nate or Alex gets off work that day uh like three o'clock so he'll be coming home around three and we'll like get our Christmas going and started um and then on Christmas day we travel up an hour to be with family. First we go to Alex's parents because they always do like a uh, Christmas breakfast. That's like their tradition. Um, and then we'll go after that, around lunchtime, we go to my parents' house um, and do like a lunch kind of thing. And um, most of my mom's side of the family comes over. So, um, and if you're not, and if you're wondering, I just realized I'm not wearing my wedding ring. It's over there on the ring dish because I took it off because I was doing dishes. Um, so anyways, yeah, uh, I'm really excited about that and I hope you guys are too. And I hope that you liked this vlog and I'll see you next time on my channel. I hope you all have a great day. Bye. Bye.